hello guys welcome back i am asad ali uh, in this video i'll talk about how you can export scrap data to google sheets in previous video i uh, briefly explained how to create a uh, google sheets api google drive api and how to uh, create complete scrapper to extract all the codes from uh, codes website in this video i will export all the those codes i scrapped in previous video to uh, Google Sheets. So let's start. Uh, first of all, we we uh, we will need few libraries to do that. Uh, first library we are going to need is the G spread library that is used to write and read and write edit uh, Google Sheets. Uh, okay, let's import G spread. Ne next library we will need is the Google authentication libraries that uh, we use to authenticate our JSON key. Uh, so let's import uh, authenticator or to client dot service account import service account credentials okay and uh, another library we will need is numpy i will explain why i am importing this library as well from okay import numpy as np okay let's define another uh, library to authenticate to authenticate let's define a scope here so your pardon scope Since we created two libraries, uh, one is Google Sheets library and other one was uh, Google Drive libra library. Let's uh, create our score for these two libraries: https www.googleapis.com. You can see that in Google documentation as well. Okay, authenticator spreadsheets. Okay, let's copy this and uh, use it uh, for Google Drive as well. Google APIs.com authenticate and drive. Okay, we are good here. Uh, now let's uh, create credentials. And uh, for that, we are going to use this library. Okay, back your pardon. There it is. Service account credentials. And uh, okay, from JSON key file. your pardon I'm just mistyping again and again it's probably my keyboard okay uh, the JSON key I imported here it is Google auth underscore key your name would be probably different not JSON Okay, and now define mention our scope here. <coughs> now let's pass these scopes credentials to our G spread library to authorize credentials. Okay, what we have here is a Google Sheets. Now we have our uh, access to Google Sheets. Uh, now let's open our Google Sheet to open that uh, google sheet equals to sh equals to gs dot open to open our library let's copy to open our sheet let's copy its name and uh, paste it here in inverted commas uh, next thing we are going to do is we are going to open let's re uh, return this and we will do that later return sh okay so what we have here is a scraper that runs through the pages and extract all the output to uh, 
or outputs output uh, list here <coughs> so what happens here is basically uh, this is the output list that is defined globally outside of the function so that I can append it inside the function as well when uh, I append this it says list of list to the output um, globally defined list okay what we need next is the sheet worksheet so worksheet equals to okay authenticator okay make your pardon authentic <coughs> dot worksheet worksheet name what is the name of our worksheet our worksheet name is uh, sheet 1 ok sheet 1 what we are doing here is we are doing uh, we are using this sh and getting our sheet now what we need is uh, on uh, np numpy and c let's uh, have a look at uh, its documentation you can see that we can use numpy to export our array to uh, worksheet so let's copy this these two lines and use this to export our worksheet okay what we have here is list of lists let's use our output here and uh, we are good to go this is uh, where you can define where to start you can this is the cell a2 if you have title let's add the title first in our google sheet and uh, okay what we have here is mm, beg your pardon okay here it is code author tag 1 tag 2 and tag 3 let's uh, give it a title uh, first one was quote I guess a quote author quote author tag one tag two tag three okay we are good here let's make bold it okay what happens is uh, since I have defined a2 it will start from here here onwards so uh, we should be good here all set credentials worksheet and everything let's try to run our code and see how it goes let's wait a little bit I'm not printing anything I have uh, commented everything that's why it is not showing me that okay S what is the problem the problem is I am using output as uh, I haven't indexed it what happens here is every time it is scrap extracting author it returns a list so when a list is empty it uh, does not uh, okay go well with the numpy uh, let's uh, make some modifications here okay let's use our loop element for loop element for element for element in output okay now we have one the first list of our list and uh, now we are going to use make some changes x for x in element and uh, okay if x is not make your pardon is not equals to empty and uh, x must be the first element here and let's call it a string uh, okay we should be good here now let's uh, call it output as well okay let's run it again and I will explain in a minute what I have done here
okay i think we have it's it's uh, raising a simple um, warning not much uh, here okay we have our uh, codes here you can see that it is code it's author names and tag one tag two and tag three you can you can see that uh, data is pretty clean and uh, we have all our codes 100 codes including 101 rows including our title so what I did with the uh, with this line of code is let me explain a little bit here <coughs> you can see that this uh, okay let me make a simple array okay let uh, let let's have uh, um, for example this is the list here what happens is uh, for numpy2 process list of lists is the way that it will define it like this it should be multiple lists first list second list all right now what happened here what happened in this particular case is uh, each of this value was also a list and some of them were empty so what I needed to do is I needed to convert these uh, do some indexing here uh, extract this element from this list remove the list and extract the element and further if an element was in pity I was supposed to tell that MP that uh, ignore that as well so what I did here is I used for loop twice in the same row I used this first element in output first pick this list and inside of this list I pick this element I remove uh, added index here first element extracted the first element like this and converted it into, into a string so that it's easier for numpy to process and if uh, you know some uh, unfamiliar uh, characters appear then it should be easier for uh, numpy to process that those elements then it became much more easier for numpy to process it was like this and uh, and it removed this element as well by using if statement I removed that element what happened is although it's different length strings but it's still uh, different length lists but it still works so I hope uh, you like this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about uh, libraries I am using or any other method you want to learn, you can ask questions in the comment. I will help. Uh, thanks for watching again. Have a nice day.